Good evening and a warm welcome to Empowering You for Victory in Jesus' name. We are sharing these programs with you for you to experience total life prosperity. Prosperity in every area of your life. You will settle for nothing less than that. Spirit, soul, body prosperity, financial prosperity, relationship prosperity, long life prosperity, fulfilling the purposes of God prosperity. Total life prosperity is your portion in Jesus' name. Tonight I want to share with you that God is raising mature sons. We saw that last night you born again a son of God. But some sons are immature and some are mature. So we grow in grace and the knowledge and the word of God implanted in our hearts causes us to experience epignosis, which is the exact knowledge that that knowledge and you become one in God. I want to read from Galatians chapter 4 from verse 1 to verse 7. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant, though he be lord of all, but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. Even so, when we were children, we were in bondage under the elements of the world. Let me pause there and explain that. Paul is particularly speaking about the Old Testament. So he's saying when he was practicing the Mosaic law under the Old Testament, those that operated in that dispensation, if I can call it, I don't like the word dispensation, rather administration of the law, Paul says they were children because they were under tutors and governors. That means the law governed them. And so that is so important. And so being a child, even though they were children of God and they were servants, but they differed nothing from a servant, even though they were Lord of all. Very important for you to understand. We pick it up again from verse 4. But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son made of a woman, made under the law. Now we're coming unto the administration of grace. And in this administration of grace, there is the incarnation of God. God becoming a man. Jesus Christ being born of a woman and yet he was born under the law. Now the Bible says when the fullness of time was come. That is not Kronos time, our time. That is Kairos time, God's set time. There was a set time when Jesus would be born and Jesus would live at 33 and a half years and he would begin his ministry at 30 years and three and three years he would minister and go to the cross and die and rise again from the dead and ascend into the throne and so when the fullness of time was come so now you see there is a new time that is our time when the fullness of time was come God sent forth his son. So a son was sent. But the son was made of a woman. God made it this way. And the son was made under the law. So God made Christ to be Jesus as a man. God made the son of God to be a son of man. But never stopped being the son of God, never stopped being God. He was God and man in one body. So he, God made that. 
Jesus was made by God in the incarnation. The purpose of that was to redeem them that were under the law that we might receive the adoption of sons. So the reason God did that is for you to become the righteousness of God, for you to be actually born again, and for Christ to redeem you out from being under tutors and governors or pedagogues. You see, the law was like a pedagogue. And I'll give you an example in a moment. And Christ redeemed us out of that so we can receive the adoption of sons. And so you're not only born again a son, you are adopted as a son. Because Jesus, the son, comes into your heart and your spirit unites with your spirit and now you are a full-grown son, but you haven't grown in knowledge and grace. You must understand that you are blinded still in your understanding of your full rights as sonship. It's like someone who can have an inheritance and doesn't have the knowledge of that inheritance and therefore operates as a pauper, and yet they could be a billionaire inheritance waiting for them to cash it. It doesn't mean the inheritance is not theirs. It doesn't mean they're not an heir. It means they don't have understanding. They don't have knowledge of it. So you must be clear about that. If you're born again, you're born again a son. And you need the natural knowledge. You need revelation. And you need exact knowledge that you can become the word being made flesh, like Jesus was the word made flesh and dwelt amongst us. To redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. And because you are sons, you see, you are sons. God sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So the spirit of sonship, witnesses with your spirit and the spirit of sonship says you're a son of God and God is your father. Abba means daddy father and so even though you're a son and all things are yours God is still your father and Jesus is your big brother and he's not ashamed to call you brethren. Then it says wherefore in light of all this you are no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, why if? Because you can be a son and not know this. And if a son, then an heir of God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So we have to ask ourselves, who is a mature son? So some sons are immature, and some are mature. A mature son is one who has a clear understanding of who they are. They know that they've received the spirit of adoption. They are not babes under tutors and governors. Babes were the children of God under the old covenant. Mature sons are not in bondage to the world's systems. Jesus taught us if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall, it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. So mature sons operate at a level of epignosis faith. They move things around. And they move the kingdom forward in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. God richly bless you. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you that when the fullness of time was come, Jesus was born in a manger to live 30 years and to go to the cross. You made him 
of a woman. You made this to happen. It was a miracle made of God. But you made him to come under the law. And that he will fulfill the law. Shed his blood. Redeem us out of being under the law. That we would be led by the spirit. We thank you that sons of God. Mature sons. Are those that are led of the spirit of God. And if sons. Then we are heirs of God. Joint heirs with Jesus Christ, heirs of the world, and all things are ours. I release this epignosis knowledge, exact knowledge into your people, Lord. And I pray in the name of Jesus, through the workings of the Holy Ghost, that their lives will become the manifested sons of God, the word of God being made flesh. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God richly bless you. Family, I'll see you tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Bye-bye.